This is Coach D, and today I'm going to hook you up with a full-on video about the meet and greet. This is your first practice. What do you need to do? How do you need to prep? What are you bringing? What are you going to be telling your parents? All of that great stuff is about to happen right here. So let's talk about preparation. First of all, before it even starts, you want to you want to basically kick off the communication. First thing that I do is I start a text thread with all the parents. So I will put them into my phone and I will just say, uh, Ethan's mom, Ethan's dad, boom. And I will put all of that into a nice group text and I will send out a nice little intro. Hello, how are you? This is Coach D. Here's what we're going to be focused on. You know, we're meeting this time, this place, all of that. Okay, so I want to get that started right up front. Any questions that you have, any concerns, anything right up front before we even get there. All right, so I've started that communication on day one. Second thing is with the communication is I send an email. I make sure everybody has the roster. I make sure everybody has, you know, all the details. And I, I have a template that is just mapped out, okay? We usually get a, a uh, uh, like a Dick's Sporting Good coupon. So I'll put that in there. I will give them a, a view of the field. All right, here's what the field looks like. Here's the location. Here's the time and the place for our meet and greet and all the practices. I will also put together a separate schedule that shows all the game times, right? Here are all the game times. Here's the rule book. Here's the, the parents, you know, code of conduct. All of that is right there in there, all right? And I'll give them a nice little personal message that says, hey, here's who I am. Here's where I'm coming from. Here's our focus, right? Our focus is fun as far as leadership skills. We're talking sportsmanship. We're talking life skills as well as the fundamentals for football. Everybody's going to get a, a, a chance, a turn, all of that. All of that is baked in to my email before I even get to the field on day one. All right. And I like to do that usually uh, a week or two ahead of time because people are already starting to get that that itch. They're like, okay, what am I supposed to be doing? Right. I'm not sending that the night before. No, I, I am showing them right up front that I'm prepared. I care, right? And your kid will be in good hands when they come to that, that football field. All right. Boom. Day one. Now on the meet and greet day, when we get there, I'm going to be there at least 20 to 30 minutes early. Okay. Because I want to set it up. As you can tell, I've already laid it out so that when parents come, they already know, oh, okay, this person has a I know exactly mindset. And I know exactly mindset is I know exactly what's going to happen. As the coach, whether I'm an assistant or a head coach, I want to know what's going to happen. All right. So I have showed up. I've usually got all my jerseys, my flags, all that, and I will line them out. See these orange cones? I just put those out as reference. I will put them out, right? I'll put, you know, Ethan's here, Noah's here, Josh is here, boom. And I'll give them their jersey, their whatever they have, right? Their mouth guard, their, their flags. And I'll have that all lined up right here so that as people come, some are going to come early, some are going to come a little bit later, whatever. They can just show up, grab their stuff, right? And then I am fully available to help them with their flag fitting because that's the first thing that they're going to start doing. So, and I've made a video and I'll put that in the description. You want to teach them right away. How do they, right? How are they going to fit right here? Boom. How are they going to do this? How are they going to fit their flags? So we're working together already. All right. We're already team building day one, minute one. So I've got a couple pair of scissors. I've got some duct tape out there. I've got right all their flags ready to go. And then I'm just sitting with them and helping them do it. And I allow the parents to do it, right? I'll show them one time and then I'll, I'll let them 
do it so that I can be with everybody as it's happening. Okay, so all that's lined up, ready to go. Once they're done, they go to the ladder. All right, they're, they're gonna go to a, a, a drill or a something that's gonna warm them up that shows that I am ready to go so that people are not just standing around. All right, no, I want them to have something. So right away, I'm done, I've got my flags fitted. Now I'm gonna hit the ladder. Boom, they're coming around, right? And right away what I'm doing is I'm like, all right guys, come on, hustle, hustle, let's go. All right, now try it like this, right? I am setting the tone on day one. They know they're coming with somebody with some energy. We're gonna have some intensity, right? It's not gonna be like, all right guys, um, I don't know. I don't know where the, the stuff is. Oh, we don't have any ball, oh, man. <coughs> Uh, you, you'll see that a lot. You'll get out there and you'll see some, uh, and that's why you're watching this video. So I'll have something out there. It doesn't have to be an agility ladder if you don't have it, but you can even bring cans from home and set it out kind of like an agility ladder so that they can do something, right? Something while everybody else is fitting their flags, they can start warming up. Cool. After that, I'll get everybody together. And again, I'm setting the tone day one. So all my kids are gonna be just like this, on one knee, right here. And I'm talking to everybody this way. Parents are sitting out here. Kids are in a nice little, you know, half circle right here, on one knee, boom. And now I'm talking, hey parents, here's the way this is gonna work. First of all, it's all about fun. Everybody's gonna get an opportunity, all right? If we find some strengths, we are going to nurse those. We are going to give some attention to that. So if your son has some speed, if they're gonna do this or that, I'm gonna give them an opportunity to, to win. But everybody's gonna get a chance. It's all about this, that, and the other. We are all focused on life skills. So there's gonna be a word of the week. Could be leadership, could be sportsmanship, whatever it might be. But I'm gonna tell you what that is, and then what I'm gonna ask you guys to do is to please throughout the week incorporate that into your daily lives whether it's at school or whether it's with homework or other kids or whatever how are they showing leadership so that we can bring that life skill to life throughout the week okay uh, as far as communication boom and i break that down okay you've already gotten a, a text from me we have that if you cannot show up please let me know usually a couple days in advance uh, but if it's the day of that's okay just let us know through a, through that text okay if you have something concerns or anything you can always reach out to me or any of the other coaches boom we do that right we go through that communication on the morning of the games, I am going to be sending you a text with which jersey side do you wear, the, the color side, the, the, uh, you know, the, the light side, the whatever, right? Where should we meet? What field do we meet on? All that so that you know, right? I'm basically just kind of giving them all the details. Now, if you really want to, you can do some meet and greet type of stuff like uh, a quick, you know, uh, go around and tell us, you know, what your name is, favorite, uh, sports team, uh, have you ever played football and, and what's your you know, favorite you know, subject at school? Whatever it might be. What's your favorite movie that you just watched? Something that gets them talking, right? So then everybody goes through. I share a little bit about myself. This is what I've done. All the other coaches share a little bit. That's it, right? I'm not gonna take way too much time. I'm not taking 45 minutes here, right? <clears throat> It's gonna take a little bit of time. I give them the basics and then I tell them, we're gonna run. I need everybody here on time, right, prepared. I'm gonna give you these to practice throughout the week, but I, I need you to bring them so that your kid is prepared and ready to go at 10 o'clock when we get started, right? I'm, I'm calling that out again right at the very beginning. Boom, and then, all right, let's get it going. We get in a circle. We warm up, we do our warm up, all right? And you can figure out all the warm ups. I've got a ton of different videos about warm ups, all that. <clears throat> and then I, I dive right into drills. If it's little kids that have never played before, we're talking like the, the kindergartners, the pre-K, then we'll usually start with the 
bread basket, right? The bread basket, and I've got a video on that. Then we'll start with the center and the quarterback exchange. Get that going, boom. Then I like to do this one back here. This is called the centipede or the snake. I've got a video on that, right? So there's tons of different options, but usually that first one, I'll do a lot of, I'll probably do three good strong drills, right? Focused on just the basic fundamentals, but then I need them to start getting down their place. So I will introduce them to this. This is the playbook, right? I will show them, okay, where are you on the field if you are A, B, right? So I'll walk them through that and we usually will map that out with cones, right? I don't care what age they are, they can start picking it up because next week I'll have one hour before boom, it's time for game time and they better know what's happening. So almost half the time I need to start working on plays. Okay, drills are great. I like to build the fundamentals, but at the same time, boom. And one of the best drills that I really love to run on that kind of day one is that shuffle pull. Man, that just teaches them the fundamentals of grabbing the handle, right? So anyway, so we've got, I, I've prepared, right? I have talked to everyone, communicated before they've gotten there. When they've gotten there, I've been there already for about 20 minutes. I'm set up so that everything looks like, oh, this person cares. They know what's going on. I've got an I know exactly mindset. <clears throat> I run them through everything and then I, we're done, right? And then I run into full on practice, full speed, let's go, that I've already mapped out. And I've got a, a great video on practice like what should a practice look like and i'll link that down below as well there are a lot of videos as you know but keep it simple make it focused right outline your first your first meet and greet right just outline it based off of what we had so that you get there with confidence and all the other coaches know what's about to happen and then just have fun and then just have fun right <laughs> As long as you're having fun, you're showing that you care, all of that, it will all work out. You'll get it, all right? Don't, don't put too much pressure on yourself. Look, this is Coach D. I'm always here for you. So if you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe, comment, like, share this baby. I'm gonna have playbooks for you. I'm coming up with drill packs for you. I've got a lot of good stuff coming. So make sure you pay attention and then follow us on that social media because we are encouraging greatness throughout the entire world. That's what we're here to do. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.